100 YouTube videos later, here's what nobody tells you about creating content. A lot of people will say something along the lines of Gear doesn't matter. Gear doesn't matter. Gear doesn't matter. But it really does. The difference between posting one video and posting 100 videos can genuinely be the gear that you have because you need gear that's gonna inspire you to create. Here's what I mean. This is the camera that I use when I'm working and all of this extra professional gear is awesome, but it sucks to carry around. My solution for getting rid of all of this extra gear has been this guy, the Osmo Pocket 3. And this isn't an ad to go get another camera. This is me saying that a small camera is what encourages me to create because I can put it in my pocket and take it with me anywhere. But maybe what inspires you is a big camera with a lens and a microphone, and that's awesome. Go get that and film your next movie. The point I'm making is that you need to get gear that you'll actually reach for and use, something that'll push you to create. Consistency is one of the most important things if you're wanting to build an audience. Last year, I started posting about every other week, and up until that point, I had 100 subscribers in eight years. Once I started that consistent posting every two weeks, that number jumped to 1,800 subscribers all within a year. Subscribing to a channel is a way that a viewer shows you that they trust you, and you build that trust by continually showing up. The typical rule is make your videos as high quality and frequent as possible. That doesn't mean you should sacrifice quality to make more videos though. There are three words that you're gonna wanna keep in mind. Manage your expectations. Every day, there's a new person on YouTube who posts one insane video and it just absolutely blows up. That is the exception. The reality is that it takes time to grow and that could be one video or it could be a thousand. If you're looking at numbers as a metric for the success though, then you can't guarantee that posting those 100 videos will be worth it. But if you're looking to measure success by learning something new, staying consistent and expressing yourself creatively, then of course, it's always gonna be worth it. Now, if you've gotten this far, it's important to mention the title and the thumbnail. You can have an absolutely amazing video, but the deciding factor as to whether it gets watched or not is the title and thumbnail. After 100 videos, I still am not very good at this. As I've gone on, I have noticed that the more effort and more time I put into those two things with the packaging, then the better the results statistically are with the video. So yeah, title and thumbnail. Think about them before you do the video put more effort into them, and yeah. Now, this next one is, it, it sounds a little rough, I'm not gonna lie, and the first time someone said it to me, it actually kind of hurt my feelings, but they were critiquing a video of mine, and I was wondering why it wasn't getting many views, and they basically said, nobody cares about you, and they weren't trying to be mean, they were completely right, but what they meant by that was that, to most people in the world, you are just a completely random person. To give them a reason to click and watch your video, you have to provide something to them. And that could be education, it could be entertainment, but there has to be some value. And if you're just a random person that they don't really trust, then no one's gonna click on your video talking about what you did for a random holiday vacation. On the other hand, if you have a huge community and you've built up that fan base and the trust, then of course you have all these people who trust you and want that entertainment value from you talking about your vacation. But that's after you've already put in years of work to build that. So what I'm saying is that if you wanna increase the views on your video, you essentially need to be providing people with something. And again, that can be anything from education to entertainment, uh, inspiration, it really doesn't matter, but there has to be something that the viewer is walking away with that they didn't have beforehand. What I'm not saying is that you should only make videos for other people. Yes, if you wanna increase your views, you need to find a way to provide value. But for many, making videos is something that is intrinsically fulfilling. It's something we do for ourselves because it's a way to creatively express ourselves. For me, it's almost like a video journal and it helps me process emotions and different feelings and that's a value that I get from it. And a lot of those videos that I create where I process those emotions, they don't really provide any value to anyone else. 
And that doesn't mean that I should stop making them because other people won't care about them. It's something that is important to me. Some people like to jump back and forth between creating video for themselves and creating video for the audience. Some people are purely artists and just create videos for themselves in hopes that they can build up an audience that actually cares about that work. And I'm jealous of those people. I have not been able to do that. But you have to find what works for you and what your end goals are. Whether you want to be just creatively fulfilled and you don't care about the audience numbers, or whether your end goal is to have people watching you, then you'll probably end up making content that's more so based on what your audience want to sees, wants to see. That was rough. Another one is that length matters. And yes, that is a huge, that's what she said joke, I get it. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that YouTube is an ad platform and they want people to be on their platform for as long as possible because the longer people are there, the more they make money. And one way they do that is by promoting longer videos. The longer a video is, the longer an audience will hopefully be watching that video. And that means that more ads can be displayed, more money can be made for YouTube, and it works better for everyone. So whenever you look at the algorithm, the algorithm doesn't just promote videos that go well with your interests and that align with the niches you're in. It also promotes videos with a longer duration. Right now, YouTube is actually challenging a lot of the other streaming platforms to be the number one streaming app on the TV. So people are usually watching long form YouTube videos on a TV. And when you think about that, they don't really wanna watch minute or two minute long videos. They wanna watch videos that are about 20 minutes long. So if you look at some of the top YouTubers, you'll see that trend going in that direction of people are posting longer videos. But longer videos doesn't mean you should be sacrificing the quality. A bad video at the end of the day is still a bad video and people won't want to watch it. Basically, to play with the algorithm, you want to create longer videos that are still engaging. Who would have thought? The last one that I have to say, and this kind of goes with what I said earlier about consistency, is that you genuinely just have to put in the time, which isn't a very romantic thing to say. It's not something a lot of people want to hear, but it just takes time. I posted my first YouTube video over nine years ago and I was not consistent at all, but it took those nine years just to get over a thousand subscribers. And there was a lot of learning in that process, definitely a lot of failure. Things just take time. And that's where it goes back to the motivation too. If you're motivated by viewers and the number of people watching your videos, then it might fall apart because it takes time to build that audience. If you're intrinsically motivated, and this is something that is your creative self-expression, then you're not relying on those external forces to validate your work. And when it's been nine years and no one is still watching your videos, you're able to keep going because they're important to you and they give value to you. So that's all I got. A hundred videos later, uh, somehow we're still doing this. The gist, go make long videos consistently that are self-fulfilling and don't give up. That is my motivational speech. Okay, I'm done.